today is all about my Dillard's trip and how I wound up looking for one fragrance and discovered so much more. Thank you. Of course, no problem. You have a great day. Oh. We're heading to Dillard's. We need to see if they have the Baccarat Rouge 540. I'm not spending that much. Here's the price tag. It'll be on the screen. That's about a rent payment. I'm not I just, I just want a sample. Let's go. And the thing about that is, with something that's as expensive and because it's quality, it's Baccarat Rouge 540. There's lots of dupes out there. Now I won't get into that. I just want to see what they have. That and the gentle fluidity, kind of purpley the original is. We're going to see what they have and try not to get distracted by anything. Good afternoon. I'm actually looking. Do you guys have a perfume counter or a perfume section? Okay, thank you. We're gonna get an eyeful. So no matter how long the length of this is, it's just the experience. I wanted to give you all Savage for men. Libre. Lots of dupes for that. I'm just looking to sample Baccarat. That's, that's all. Oh, I see it. I see it. Tell me thank you in the comments. That's eventually what I was trying to say. Oh, Phil Dale about to have. Word gray velveteer. This is how you know quality and price. I can smell it without taking the cap off. Gray velveteer. Is this for men or women? All day so little blanc. Let me ask the clerk here for a um, a pin because I'm going to need it. Hi. Um, hi. Um, do you have a pen so I can write what, which is which? Sure. Good afternoon. I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. Which one do you want to get? Uh, okay, that is um, the Tom Ford Solil Blanc. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to sample a couple of them. Yeah. Let me make three. This is first time for me, so I'm trying to make sure I get samples of everything before I make a purchase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me I'm just going to write it here. Okay. Would I be able to take the pen with me and then return it back? Oh yeah. Okay. I'll make sure to do that. This is nice. Been seeing a lot of these online. I'm like, okay, let's mm -hmm. go see them in person. Yeah, that's the one right there, ma'am. And I have some more over here. Okay. And that's the pen. Okay, thank you. Ooh. That's the first sample. Oh, thank you. Tom Ford. Men or women? Uh, Tom Ford, they're unisex. Okay. But all of them, I like this and this. Okay, thank you. And also, we have the dish perfume, it's called Thomas Kismala. Ah. That smells really good. Oh, I have fun in here. Yeah. Like, um, um, Thomas is more like luxury designer. Mm -hmm. We have sunglasses, handbags, but Thomas Kismala is more like just fragrance. Nice. And that's really good. So, do you have any questions? My name is. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm sorry. My name is Jessica. Okay. Thank you. This is exciting. <laughs> Y'all might get an hour of this. Y'all might get an hour. Okay, so this is Tom Ford Gray Velveteer. That's how that looks. This is unisex. Of course, you guys will hear that all throughout the vlog anyway. And I have two of their poison line of everything. So you know I'm gonna have a field day. Black 
Orchid of Tom Ford. Let's see what this ball went. Okay. I was just looking. Let's let's do it. That's what. There's anything I like, I love snow beer. They have here Tiffany and Co. Now I've been hearing a lot about light blue. We're finally going to sample this. Let me take a stack of cards. Come on, I can't leave that. This is is this light blue? I don't think it is. Tiffany and Co. They make the finest, most expensive jewelry. Can we get light blue? I don't think we can. I wish I knew what the name of this one was. Because I don't want to mislabel anything. Here is my favorite. The original. Might be on the thumbnail. Shador. Shador is one of my favorites also from Christian. Really nice classy sandwich. But the largest <laughs> size of this is like six and a half ounce. Give me a moment. We can talk. I was gonna turn the camera around, but you see um, they have hypnotic poison. And I believe I see the original poison there. I still want midnight poison. I believe that's discontinued, but it's there. Let me zoom in for you, right there. Damn. Yeah, I had that one, decluttered that one. It's nice and it's just not for the faint of heart. Right, back to Jador, Shador. I'm probably butchering that, but that's fine. I'm forgetting my stack of cards here. I have had a perfume rendition of this, of Shador, but um, from Sweet Essentials, but nothing like smelling the OG. show you the rest of what they have here on display too. Bottle of snap on. Thought it was a twist top. They don't have the Baccarat Rouge 540. That's okay. Cause I see a whole host of other ones that I've been hearing about all over YouTube. So, I feel, this is the shimmering gel. Ooh, they've been using a whole lot of that. Twist top. Very nice, very perfume. Lots of shimmer. I just wanna get cold so you can see it. I don't think I'm gonna sample it because of hygienic reasons, but I'm definitely gonna smell it. This is the body cream, and I love the packaging here. These tops are cute. Not as perfume as that shimmering gel. Hopefully the shimmering, <coughs> excuse me. Hopefully the shimmering gel that I just showed you all. Since it's a gel formulation, you just apply it and it's, it just dries down and leaves your shimmer. I wouldn't know but it looks like it would do that. Then we have the shimmering scrub. That's so nice. The scrub has shimmers in it. Accidentally got some on my hands. Now we can't see it, but lots of shimmer. Lots of it. 
they don't already, I think uh, Christian Dior should put this in a whole gift set. No, it's not for the occasion, but you know, it should be in a whole gift set of all these items. This is a different part, not the same bottle. This is Parfume Doe. I'm probably butchering that. French, excuse my French, literally. And I saw Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. I like the original Shador, not this one so much. Hmm. Let's see what else they have. Here's all the packaging of everything. There appears to be a third one. So there's five ounce, 3.4 ounce, four ounce of the one I just smelled in a Fenisome, which in that totally. Yeah. Miss Dior. Opportunity to sample it, and it has its own sampling card. I like that. Let's get into it. Christian Dior is one of the best so far, but then I don't want to be biased because I haven't had a chance to properly try these other fragrance perfumers yet. It's okay. What I'm looking at is the dry down. And it's already labeled, so that's fine. Coco Chanel. The only thing I'm looking for is can we have the Coco Mademoiselle? That's what I'm looking for. I don't see it. This is Chanel number five. Coco Chanel, but not Coco Mademoiselle. Is that a bar of soap? Please be a bar of soap. Moisturizing body lotion. See, for me, the packaging, besides the product itself, would be nice. And I like how these have their own personalized fragrance cards. I think that's what they call them. We're going to try this one and see what they have. Oh, that smells so good. I'll probably bathe in this. I mean, they have a bar of soap, but that's not, not Gabrielle Chanel. There is Chance Chanel in five different variations. That's Gabrielle Chanel. I know what the coffee beans are for. A little fragrance 101. They give you that to reset your palate for smelling all these fragrances. And I like that. Ah! Oh, this has got to be the most interesting thing since sliced food. Because <laughs> we accidentally spilled these. So now I'm gonna get these to someone. Because I'm not putting them in here. This is Allure from Chanel, I'm thinking. Let's go back around. I want to smell good girl.
Apparently, I didn't have the camera on, but I just smelled all the So we'll go through that after I'm out of here. I see black opium. I'm hearing a lot about this one, black opium. Let's see what it's like. Has a bit of a tint to it. I thought that was the bottle, it looks ambery. That's the liquid. Sounds good. This is YSL Libre. This one. Saw this one in the Facebook group being ranted and raved about, so I like this one. I'm just gonna try the born and wrong. This one's about tap out. Born and Roma intense. Definitely love the Born and Roma Intense cup. Feels like a really tasty punch. Overdid it, overdid it a little bit with sugar. Like that. Definitely. And let me write Intense on this so I know which is which. Finally at the Burberry. Have my eyes on these passing by. It's my Burberry. I have to look online to see the notes for this. Burberry her. I'm not sampling it. Does it smell like me? I like these tops. Here is Jimmy Choo. I don't see I want you. So here were the Coach perfumes. This one smelled okay as far as I can remember, but the one you're going to see me smell directly after that one in a different shade that Burgundy Bottle smelled really, really fruity. I don't think I was able to capture the names, which is what I was looking for the most. And it seems like my sense, my, my sensation for sense gravitating towards more fruitier, sweeter scents. And I don't think it's because, just because it's the summer. It's because out of all my gourmands, I need something fruity within my collection. I feel like it'll be complete. This Michael Kors Wanderlust, let me tell you, I was not looking for a dupe for Victoria's Secret's Amber Romance, anybody? Anybody? This smells very much like it, except for I believe there, there's a note missing in it that Amber Romance would have. I was surprised. High-end perfume that smells like Victoria, don't tell nobody, secret. Amber Romance, really, really nice. And you, as you can see, that had to have been a 3.4 ounce or better. I knew I recognized this perfume bottle off the jump. There's a commercial for it, which comes off the way they shot the commercial, the way she was slanging a whoop of her hair back and forth. I would have thought that this was a hair product commercial. I'm just saying, this smelled okay as far as I can remember. And because I smelled so much, 
When I tell you I walked out of there, smell like I smelled like Dillard's. That's all. <laughs> I smell it. It's still drunk. And here's the packaging. Oh, it's finally have a moment of truth here. We have the elixir before I spray it. And the perfume, two different variations. Elixir tends to be of a stronger intensity speaking from a woman's perspective I wouldn't know what that's like for me we're gonna give it a try I better be thinking God I don't yet have nobody to buy this for but this smell good okay. on that note I'm 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 exiting my my fragrance trip here this this is this is a great exit. This is a close the curtain moment. Oh, hey. I have had the grandest experience sampling fragrances. And this is in Dillard's for those maybe you watch in the middle of it. When this goes up. Really nice. Savage is my favorite men's fragrance out of smelling just three. I know that's I know that's not fair. That's not fair. But it is. Valentino. Intense. Favorite out of all the women's perfume. Tell me why when I got home to get delivery, the first thing the delivery person says after giving me the last item you smell good first of all i was caught off guard because i knew i was walking around with a cloud of fragrance so i said thank you i don't know what i smell like i've been at the perfume store today tell me why that cloud of fragrance is in these perfume cloud per perfume cards still i'm gonna just tell people i smell like dillard's <laughs> This is Perfume Express. Might add this along with the Dillard's trip. Bright Crystal. They also have these in department stores. Dulce and Gabbana. Not sure what this is. Light blue. I love this packaging a whole lot. Mark Jacobs. Hi. Oh, just browsing. Thank you. This is nice. Ooh, this is the men's stuff. This is a you know, I just thought about this gonna be in the vlog. I'm gonna ask him if he got Baccarat Rouge. Hopefully he'll know. And the bottle. Could I get the bottle? Yeah. Thank you. Of course, no problem. You have a great day. So I finally got a chance to sample another dupe of Baccarat Rouge, but not the OG. The OG costs $300, $400. And it's about the same for the rest of the line. I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to add this to the perfume vlog. You like to see more of these videos? It's in a playlist on either side. 
I said I was going to get something to eat, and I'm going to do just that. When I think about love, uh, it's one of the bravest, bravest things, things that you can do. It is patient. It is kind. It does not envy or boast. And it'll keep, keep you on, on the coast of not being rude or self-seeking. Nor is it easily angered or seething mad. And it keeps no records of wrongs. It has no pleasure in evil, but it rejoices in the truth. And most of all, 